So if you've been following me and following this channel, you know I have three kids ranging from uh, 10 years old all the way down to two years old. And so I homeschool my kids, the ones that are in school. Um, and then um, my two year old, um, I've, I've been sharing some different things that I've been working on with him. Well, I used to be a speech therapist, so I can say his language is definitely delayed. Um, and so for the first two years or so, um, you know, we just thought that he was gonna catch up because he was saying some things, but he definitely was behind. So he has started, um, he has gotten evaluated and he's going to start therapy, but I wanna work on some things here while we're waiting on therapy. And, um, and so I wanted to share some of that with you. And so I've been watching uh, YouTube videos and I've been listening to different podcasts and I haven't worked as a speech therapist for the, for 10 years, probably the last 90 years. Um, and then when I did work, I primarily worked in nursing homes. So I don't have a lot of experience with early intervention. Um, so a lot of this is kind of new for me, although I do have a master's degree um, and a lot of that we learned about normal development and everything. And so, A, I want to say um, he has no diagnosis yet, but that may be something that's coming. But I wanted to share this journey with you because I have been watching so many different YouTube channels and videos of other moms sharing their experience and sharing what they're doing with their kids. And it has encouraged me and it has helped me. And so I didn't want to miss out on that. So I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to update you. Um, but like I said, there's some different things that we have been working on. This is literally within the last two weeks or so. Um, and one, um, I'm gonna share uh, this book that I made for Anderson so we can work on some vocabulary to help him with his expressive language, what he says. Um, although I do believe he has better receptive language, which is normal, um, but I, he understands more than he actually can say. Uh, but then there's other things that we're working on, some different play things and, and just using language uh, in play and everything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share some of that journey on this channel, so I wanted to let you know, um, which the majority of people who are here are moms who want to live a healthy life. And obviously I share my lifestyle with it, which is keto and recipes and different things. But a big part of who I am is that I'm a mom. And I started this journey because I wanted to be a healthy mom. And part of that is looking at you know your whole family and the kids and everything. Um, and so for him, he eats uh, gluten-free, dairy-free. So I might be sharing some more of that, but a lot of that fits in with the keto lifestyle as well. Um, some of the things that I've been making him um, it, keto, and then it's like a dairy-free keto version, but he's not keto. He's He's just gluten-free, dairy-free right now. Um, although I've been reading some different benefits of um, the keto diet for um, for language development and different things just because of the benefits of the brain, but I'm not going there yet with him. So anyways, so, and then some different supplements that my kids take and everything, if you're interested in that. Um, so I may be sharing some more of that on this channel, so I wanted to update you with that, um, but I wanted to share these two or a couple clips of um, me and Anderson playing together, um, the word book that I made him, and then also um, a word box uh, that we're practicing with him. And he's already shown that he's um, able to say more words since we've been using that word box. Um, and then also just increasing his play um, and like joint attention, like uh, me and him playing something together. Um, that's something that we're working on. And so anyways, I'm gonna show you some clips of me and Anderson and what we've been working on. Since I used to be a speech therapist, there were some things that I knew that I could start working on at home. And so a lot of times, you know, you see these books and everything that you can start to point to pictures in the book for your kid to start naming things. But a lot of times it's a whole lot easier if it's things that they recognize. So I just made this book, just made pictures, and then I put um, the word up here. But this way we can show the book and 
he can start naming some different things and get familiar. It's using like his bed and you know the slide at our home. These are words that um, we use around him, but then we can also show him in the book and reinforce these words that we want him to start saying it and we want him to, to repeat. And so this is him eating and everything. So anyways, I just wanted to share that idea with you. If you are trying to increase your toddler's language, you know, this is something that I'm working on myself. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. Gummies, gummies, gummies. And when the baby on the bus goes, when 